Oh. So I, I think the problem is a little bit when that um, I'm not 100 percent sure that the general how we how we dealt with the United Games that were particularly helped. I mean, we lost the game in the cup, and it was like like a catastrophe because we were that good and lost it anyway. Then we draw there were really good for a long spell and just drew it and we have conceded a little bit. To, that's now not the reason for today, just it's a few weeks back anyway. But you start to ask about uh, a few weeks. So I, I, the, the, the problems we had in the United Games were completely different to the, to the things we had today. A couple of, yes, the goals we concede are too easy. That's, a, that's a, probably a general thing, that's true. I said what I said about the game today, so we all, we all, players included, me included, obviously we expected a reaction and we saw a reaction that we lost in that game more than only the game a little bit, so it didn't help, we, we could just, you could just see, and on top of that, the game before the United, where we lost points, so we just were always too wide. And the goal we concede is now the goal it ends up with as a completely free in the box that cannot happen. So, but we had other moments where they didn't end up in front of our goal, uh, where we were just not together. So you cannot. Let me say like that: if you press with 80 percent, you better don't, because that makes no sense. Then, because we had here and there, I think Curtis was really going for it, following through stuff like that. Besides that, first line, a bit too far away from each other, no real impulse. Maka and Vataro, maybe normal, couldn't really, didn't really fall in the last line, was too deep as well. So that's where Chris Palace had too much possession in these moments. We had to run in the wrong direction, we're one nil down and had to constantly, and obviously that doesn't feel great. We cannot gain momentum in these moments. So half time, one nil down, fine. Um, that's how it is. Uh, and obviously, the second half is, is a really good home game. It's a really good game. Um, they didn't have, I'm not sure they had chances really, um, and, but, but we had a lot. The big ones, the four, where everybody would think yeah, that should be a goal, and other moments where we were nearly there. So, there we had momentum, that we were in the game, that we could put them under pressure. Um, and that's now how it is. So, we showed the, re the right direction in the game, so we didn't give in or whatever and thought, okay, that's another day off or whatever. Not at all. The boys really tried hard. Um, but in the end, it was not enough. We have to admit that as well. Oh, and um, the conviction I, I talked about was really, that was, no, we were really too. Our formation was never there for real causing um, palace problems. The diagonal balls they play, um, you can only defend by putting the guy on the ball under pressure. There's no other chance to do that. Although when we didn't do that, that means they could play them and the whole formation have to run constantly, making runs. You actually you you do them to defend them, but it's not for winning the ball. It's just for defending them, and that's a big difference. You know? No, it's easy. I understand it 100 percent. It's of course you ask, you have to ask these questions, but it doesn't mean for the title race and stuff like this. I'm not dumb. I know all that. Um, and, it's, and the answer is pretty easy. We play like in the first half. Why should we win the league? If we play like in the second half, if we can win football games. So if we can win football games, um, then we will see how many we can win, and then we will see what we have to be around when the other guys now struggle, if they struggle. So that's how it is. And for us, obviously, we are. We have to win football games anyway. So, uh, have now a string of four away games, if I'm right. So um, that would have been tough anyway. It will be tough, but we have to, and we know that. It's obviously that's clear um, that we have to deal with that now. And that's that's the easy thing. There's nothing else um, really to say. We, the, the criticism in these moments is completely fine and, and absolutely right. It's all about. How we deal with it in the first half, we didn't deal particularly well with the situation, but second half we 
pulled ourselves together and, 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 and should have won the game, but we didn't do. I saw, I saw the result, um, and that's it. Richard? Yeah, I, so we, we make that now, I understand as well. I see the same game like you do. Um, did Vataro and Maka play now a little bit too much in the last few weeks? Maybe they were the two most used, especially Maka. Um, the other guys came back from injury and now Kurt, I would say Kurt today really good. Um, Dom came back from injury, stuff like this, kind of a rhythm. I think for the situation um, Trent is in, that was really good, but hey, I don't think he could now play 120 minutes, let me say it like that. Robo came back from injury, all these kind of things. So a couple of players had to play a lot and a couple of players had always was always interrupted. That's a bit the situation. But um, it's actually not too interesting for us if we find now for that the real answer. We have just to, to, to make sure that we don't think about where we are coming from, whether injured or not, and we just have to make sure we find a way um, to beat the specific opponent in front of us. And for that, um, it's always like this for, for winning, you always find, as a manager, you find a lot of explanations. This was great, this was great. When you lose, it's not as easy to find these things. And they might be obvious, but it's not about now putting the finger into that or that or that. As it, you always, the solution is always being really together on the pitch for us. Where we are, we, 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 we got because we were against the ball an absolute machine. And that's what we have to be in that moment. We have the rhythm, we have the momentum in the game. It's difficult for the opponent. They don't feel great. We feel much better. And then we, these boys can really play football today. They showed that in a really difficult situation that they can do that. And that was good. But it doesn't feel great anyway now because we lost the game and we, had, we, we, we planned this day completely differently. But here we are. And now, um, how is that? We have to deal with that. Last one at the front. Yeah, how it is on these days, and then something like that happens as well. Um, Connor, overstre Connor overstretched his foot slightly. First moment, you know, what Connor felt about didn't look great. Um, now I heard a little bit like it settled quite quickly, but I don't know. I like now what is is a, lig is a ligament damaged or not? I don't know. Um, so we will get these informations tomorrow or Tuesday, uh, but. Um, yeah, it was, it was it was very painful for him, so that's not cool. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you. Bye. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.